Hello guys, this is Cyber and I want to help you get all the secrets and unlocks in The Evil Within. First I want to talk about New Game Plus and the harder difficulty settings and why these are important. After completing the game once, you'll unlock New Game Plus, the Model Viewer, the Nightmare Mode difficulty, and the Akuma Mode difficulty. New Game Plus allows you to replay the game with all of the items and upgrades you collected during your first playthrough. This playthrough is at or below the difficulty level that you selected in the first playthrough. So if you selected the casual mode, you can only play the casual mode. If you selected the survival difficulty, you can carry your items into the casual mode in New Game Plus. This is important to remember because you can't take your unlocks and items into a difficulty above the one you've already selected. So if you want to get these items in a harder difficulty, you will have to play the game at least once without them at the harder difficulty. The other thing to remember is that all of your unlocked weapons can only be accessed in New Game Plus. Now let's talk about those unlocked weapons. First up, the machine gun. The machine gun is unlocked after completing the game once. When you load up a new game in the New Game Plus, this gun will be added to your inventory. The machine gun has a high fire rate, does low damage, but does not have a lot of recoil. The thing you want to remember is that finding ammo for this gun is extremely rare, so be careful with your ammo consumption with this gun. Also there are no upgrades that can be purchased for this gun. Next up is the rocket launcher, unlocked right along with the machine gun after completing the game once. And, as you would expect of a rocket launcher, this thing does devastating damage. The downside is that the rocket launcher has a limited amount of shots, and once they're gone, they're gone for good. There is nowhere in the game to pick up extra ammo, and you don't get more after completing the game. As disappointing as this is, the next unlockable, the brass knuckles, are much more satisfying. These are unlocked by completing the nightmare mode once. Combine these with fully upgraded melee damage and you can one shot nearly everything except bosses. To use the brass knuckles, just unequip your weapon and hit the melee button. But be careful, you have a tendency to step on enemies near you. You can't aim and use these brass knuckles which is a downside, so watch where you are when you take a swing. The last unlockable you receive for completing the game once is 50,000 skill points. This is just an added bonus to help you get those upgrades. The next two weapons are unlocked by grabbing all 28 map fragments throughout the game. Once you've collected them all, head to New Game Plus and start a new playthrough. Once Nurse Titania gives you access to the back area of the safe haven, head to the file room that is opposite the morgue lockers. On the wall in this room you will find the map board. If you've collected all the map pieces, then this board will flash red. Once inspecting the board, a silver case will appear on the table. Opening this case will give you the burst handgun and the high penetrating sniper rifle. These are alternate versions of the handgun and sniper rifle that you already have in your inventory. So when you look in your inventory, look for an icon with the button to press to switch the handgun to the burst handgun and the sniper rifle to the high penetrating sniper rifle. And this is how you can equip them and add them to your quick slots. Both of these guns share the upgrades with their counterparts. So when you upgrade the handgun, you're also upgrading the burst handgun. And when you upgrade the sniper rifle, you're also upgrading the high penetrating sniper rifle. And that will do it for the unlocks and secrets in The Evil Within. And if this guide has been helpful and you liked it, hit that like button. If you want to hear more like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you all again. This has been Cyber. I'm